Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video, it has no plan. <laughs> Literally last night I was like, I wonder if people would want to see a video of me with like my clients for the first day because I usually don't really show that. And then I was like, yeah, okay, let's just film it. And here we are. So let me give you some description with the horse behind me. This is Blaze. He just came in literally yesterday in the afternoon. He is a nine-year-old Mustang. You can see his tattoo there on his neck. Day of training. And usually on the first day, we don't really do too much. I do just about the basics with them. I get them out, groom them, maybe do some round pinning and some desensitizing tying, and then that's it. Also on the first day and the first interactions with each other, this is when the horse is the absolute naughtiest. So of a good opportunity for me though, because I can kind of see where their bad habits are. You know, are they touchy with their feet? Can I touch their ears? Can we lead? Can we round pin? Or what are we scared of? It, I can kind of get a big description of how the horse thinks, uh, moves, everything like that, what he's afraid of, what he's confident with. And that's really good because then, well, <laughs> That kind of gives me a good idea of where I should go from there and I can start planning out my training with the horse. But today, like I said, I just kind of wanted to take you guys along. Literally everything, I'm gonna be showing you guys literally everything that he does right, wrong, and hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully this video works out. So if you guys would have been following me on my Instagram, you would have saw that he came yesterday and would have been updated already. So if you want to see updates, like I said, I post on Instagram faster than, so yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's catch this guy. <laughs> Literally have to do is clip the lead rope. That's not the hard part. The hard part is switching out the halters because I don't want to use the halter that he's got on his face currently. So let me just switch this out. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that's the easy part. Come here, come here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There you go. There you go. Oh my goodness. There you go. You're... You don't know me, and I don't know you. It's weird. I know. Who is this? Who are gonna kind of practice putting this on and off of him and and touching him with it? Oh, I know. I know everything's horrible. Everything's horrible. Now, I'm not gonna be shy with him and be like. I'm just gonna move around him like normal. If he moves, that's totally fine. He can only go so far. There's no. He kind of gets used to that. He should be already used to that. There you go. I haven't taken it off just yet. Right. Put it through the nose there. We already practiced the flip over. Oh yeah. There you go. And that's how you switch a halter. Good boy. All right, come on, sir. There you go. So I'm just going to do my normal routine and just groom him. I, all I was doing was this. I just stand there. <laughs> pretty crazy reaction most people will say <laughs> and he did loosen that halter a little bit so I will tighten it back up but hold on if I would have walked away from him when he was reacting like that to just the brushes on him then that obviously would tell him oh if I react they'll back away so that's why I just waited till he finally relaxed then I walked away obviously he was overreacting because brushing is nothing and I'm going to continue to do this sound as well because it bothers him Oh no, I'm also going to move all the hay out of the way. There, that's a better reaction. That's a better reaction. There you go. There you go. See how much better that was?
you want to get brushed too? <laughs> Do you want to get brushed too? <laughs> I already know he doesn't like fly spray, so I've got one that's filled with water, and then I've got mine. So, I just spray, when he stands, I stop. Spray. You should actually enjoy this because it's pretty it's getting pretty warm. Again. Much better reaction. And we're gonna go back in. Give him a couple seconds. I'm gonna go with the real one. There, good. Now I'm gonna spray. Good. Very, very much a verbal cutie kind of person. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. So he likes around 80s right now, which isn't too hot for Arizona, but good boy. Wow, that was really good. Spray, spray, spray that neck, feet. We'll fix this leading. A little like an anchor. All right, so I thought I would do a quick voiceover. You guys have seen me do round pinning before, so I'm just going to do kind of clips of our round pinning. And right off the bat, the first mistakes he was kind of making was turning into the fence and wanting to go the other direction. And the very first thing that I like to start in the round pin is just establishing direction and moving forward. So now that he kind of has the general idea of what I'm asking, I decided to start asking him to do directions and turning, which he was a little sticky at at first. I go ahead and give him some momentum here and ask, and he did a pretty good job. I did expect him to kind of turn away from me, so that was really great that he did it. Now, the great thing about him that I figured out pretty quickly doing this next turn is he has a really good draw, which I actually liked that. I didn't get mad at him for coming all the way up, but I still sent him off into the circle, but I really liked his draw. So that time he got a little close and I feel like this next time he kind of tested me when I asked him to change directions, he just kind of stood there. And then once I added it again, he got a little fearful. I just asked him again and he went right off. So I kind of was a little confused with that, but he did end up just doing what I asked. And then when I asked him to come in, he did a really good draw, which like I said, I really, really like this. That was actually really, really good for his first time round pinning. He did not want to, he almost did on this side, offered to turn away from me, but every time he uh, turned into me, which is good because that means he's got really good draw and he's really willing. And I like that he come to the center, like he came right away. That was awesome. So now we're going to do some stuff that's going to scare him. I'm going to desensitize him to three things, depending on how good he is doing. If he's absolutely terrified of this lead rope, then we might just do the stick and string, but I really want to get to the flag.
think I'm gonna put my phone back on the fence just in case he moves like that again. So that is basically it for our day one. I'm gonna go ahead and probably rinse him off. It's warm enough to do so. I'm literally sweating. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to hose him off. Then I'm gonna tie him for maybe 30, 40 minutes while I clean stalls and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Huh? I just wanted him to stand here for a second and kind of relax. I got his heart beating. <laughs> All right guys, so I just tied him and put some Corona all over him, his neck and everything, and he's got boo-boo here. So the owner gave me some stuff to treat it, so we're gonna do that. Poo. There, good boy. We're gonna leave him here. I know he's gonna start having a fit the minute I leave. So we'll see, we'll see what happens in the next 30 minutes. <laughs> He'll get it <laughs> one day. <laughs> He's still not a happy camper. All right, guys, so this is about where I'm going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go follow me on my Instagram. Go follow me on my Instagram to go see more updates and behind the scenes if you may. I know, it's tough. But yeah, if you guys want to see more videos with him, let me know down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.